cauliflower. So that'll negate the fact that we're going to deep fry the cauliflower and toss it in buffalo sauce. First of all, I parboiled my vegetable. In this case, cauliflower, broccoli or broccolini works fabulous too. Parboil that in salted water. Then you need to stop that cooking process. I only parboil it about three minutes. You don't want it all cooked all the way. Then I cold shock it in ice water. Then you dry it completely. Oil and water do not mix. For the batter, this batter is delicious. Cup and a half of AP flour in the bowl. To that, I add a couple of tablespoons. My kitchen staff put an actual measure in here. I would never measure this. I would just dump in <laughs> about two tablespoons of cornstarch to the bowl. Uh, salt and pepper, of course. And then about a teaspoon of baking powder. Make it nice and puffy. The cornstarch makes it extra crunchy. And then two best friends, a third of a palmful each of granulated garlic and his little buddy granulated onion. <laughs> Mix this up. A bottle of lager, your favorite brewski. So we're gonna beer batter our cauliflower. So you take your cauliflower and you don't wanna overcrowd the frying basket if you're using a tabletop fryer, which I highly recommend because they don't smoke up the house and they hold the temperature perfectly. Now we're only halfway there. The coating is delicious. And if you were using this just as a, a starter, it's great with just wedges of lemon, right? But we're gonna toss this in our buffalo sauce when they're done. I love these tabletop fryers because they don't, uh, you know, smoke up the house and they hold the temperature constant. I fry these at about 360. I fry that until it's a really deep golden color to really get that crunch factor. And take all of our cauliflower, throw it into a clean, huge bowl. Oh, these are good. We got all these guys in the bowl. And then when you're making buffalo sauce, the math is really basic. It's equal amounts of melted butter to hot sauce. I always add to my buffalo sauce lots of garlic. For every cup, I use an entire bulb of garlic chopped. And my secret ingredient is Worcestershire. And then I douse our cauliflower with the buffalo sauce. <laughs> Toss it together to coat it, transfer it onto a giant platter. Chopped celery tops. And buffalo goes great with blue cheese. So I have more of my smoked blue cheese. 